Hi everybody, welcome to A World of Colour with Prism, the brand new range from Hunky Dory Crafts. Today we're going to have a look at how we can use our markers to colour in our images just using more than one shade. Okay, so what I've got here is an image out of one of our fabulous colouring books, um, which I have just coloured in using one shade of, of sort of brown for the coffee cup. So just doing flat colouring. Um, which is abs absolutely fine. If that's how you want to use your markers, that's totally fine. There's no rules. But I'm just going to show you how, just by introducing a few extra shades, you can totally transform this image and give it extra, you know, sort of shadows and depth and dimension and just make it look much more realistic. So with our image, I've got the second one here. Now these are all printed onto 190 GSM 8 mm cardstock. So they are a great weight, the, the perfect weight for colouring in really. And obviously our 8 mm cardstock is the ideal cardstock to use alongside your alcohol pens. So with one of our pens, this one is 537, um, which is our beige. And I'm gonna use this as my base colour. Okay, so on the coffee cup, chisel tip, just going to cover in, colour in all of the actual coffee cup. So obviously these, this is your usual colour, isn't it, for a sort of takeaway coffee cup. It's that brown, sort of almost like a craft card shade, isn't it? So I'm going to colour all of this in on both of them there. Uh, I'm not being too, you know, neat. I'm not going right up to the edges, you know, I'm just sort of just getting the colour down. Um, ideally, you want to do this again, just go over with this shade again, just to get that smooth colour finish for our base layer. Um, so just get that last little area there. So you can see how it's a little bit patchy. So we can just go over that and it just gives it a better base to start with. So just get all of that coloured in. And the chisel tip's great because it, it just covers such a large area so quickly. It is perfect for doing bigger pictures like this. Okay, so that's our base colour down. So then with our next shade, which is our 543, which is um, actually called Latte, which is quite fun um, for our coffee cups. We're going to use this to add that shaded in. And what I like again about the chisel tip is it's almost like, um, you know, a little bit sort of sketchy, a little bit can't think of a word to describe this but having that chisel tip just gives it that little bit of extra dimension and just you know not getting this really smooth um, and then I'm going to just bring in our beige again and just go over the edges where they overlap so again, I'm not going, you know, there's no rules as to where you put that shade in. With this image, it's actually quite nice because what we have is these sort of black lines already there. So it sort of tells us that that's where some of the shading is on the image. Um, but you can make up your own rules. You can put shading where you want it to be. I'm going to go back in with my 543 and I'm going to actually just add another layer on top of there. So this is the joy of these pens is you can build up colour on colour as well. So we're going to use two shades for this, but just doing this, this little bit of an extra colour on colour technique will just darken these areas up ever so slightly. And it really does transform the image, you know, from something that it, it's rounded anyway, but it can look so flat when you just use one colour by adding in an extra shade or two or doing a little bit of extra colouring over the, the shadowy areas, it just looks fabulous. And this one's such an easy one to do because it's such a large shape too. So I'll just get in the detail there. And then come back with our 537, we can then just go in and fill in any sort of areas that we've left completely white and just blend those little edges together. I love the effect you get with this. And obviously, you know, you could do pink coffee cups if you wanted to, you could do, you know, any sort of colour. There's no real hard and fast rules as to what colour your coffee cups need to be. Um, and then I'm gonna go with my lid. So I'm using 402 for this one, which is vanilla. So it's that sort of creamy sort of um, shade that you get for those sort of plastic tops there. Or maybe you've got, um, 
one of those really pretty ceramic ones that they've got the like silicone lid, haven't they? So just colour both of these in. Again, just with our chisel tip, just covering the whole area. And then again, I'm just going to darken some of the edges here with the same shade. Just with our chisel tip. Just the very tops and the sides there. And then on our label, we can do all sorts of detail here. I'm just going to take my 557, which is our blush. I'm just going to do the little flowers. I'm going to keep the actual label um, quite neutral on here. But we'll colour in the flowers and we'll use our 44, uh, which is our kiwi. And just add that little bit of green to the leaves. So just make these quite girly. Our little ditzy flowers on and then I'm actually going to use our pink I think I'm going to make it super girly and I'm going to use it just on our outline here as well so it just ties in that pink that we've used it just adds to that design there just remembering that if you do go out of the lines on any of your your images you can just go in with your blender pen if you need to. That video is featured on the website so I do look out for that one and how to get the best out of your blender pen because it is pretty magical. And then I'm going to use our 402 back with our vanilla just to add a little bit of colour to our label here. So you, you can put this down first and then put your do your flowers over the top but you can do it this way, uh, it's entirely up to you, whichever you find easier. Your darker colours do always tend to win with your alcohol pen, so if you do put your vanilla down first, you can cover it up with your, your pink and your green in the flowers, so don't worry about that. Um, and then all we need to do then is our little coffee beans, and for that I'm using 545, which is our chestnut. And then just a little technique for sort of grounding your images because sometimes they can look a bit floaty. Um, so I'm going to use the CG1 which is our cool grey one and I'm going to use the um, bullet tip and I'm just going to edge all the way around our design. So it's a very very pale grey and all this does is it just gives it that little bit of a shadow around the edges here. So all the way around and it, it just helps ground your image if you're looking at this and thinking a bit pale I can't really see it try the next shade up so your next one is uh, CG3 uh, which is the Dove so you can always go around with that one as well last bit there but it just adds that little bit of an extra detail around the highlights of your image and it just it can sometimes ground them because they can sometimes like they're just floating and um, you can also do that with the sort of um, pale blues as well so the powder blue 451 is really nice for that as well so if you've got anything that would sort of be outdoors it just adds a, almost like a bit of a sky but not too much so it's definitely a, a little technique that is going to be handy and um, so i hope you enjoyed that you can see there the difference in those two images just by adding an extra shade and just taking a little bit more time to add the detail in there it completely transforms you know and makes those coffee cups look more rounded and, and more lifelike um, so i hope you've enjoyed this video um, please make sure you check out our website because we've got loads more uh, tips and technique videos available on there as well.